Hi, I want to talk about just how far off the rails the Democrat Party has gone and how churches who allow Democrats in their congregations to go unchecked, to pretend like they're Christians, to masquerade as believers, to masquerade as part of the body of Christ, all while supporting the Democrat Party. I want to talk about how those people are going to ruin your church if they haven't already. So if you go to one of those churches, say like David Platt's church, who um, teaches that Democrats who vote for people who support abortion, who vote for people who support homosexuality, who vote for people who push critical race theory, pretty much all of the things that are incompatible with the law of God and the nature of God. If you have those people in your church, it's either time to purge or it's time to get out of that church. You're in the wrong church. If you've been watching the news at all for the last few weeks, and and let's just be real, the Democrat Party has been off the rails for decades. But if you've been watching the news for the last few weeks, you see just how far to the left they have gone. Um, one of the most recent things they're doing now is um, stripping the rights away from parents, parents who have their children in public schools. Um, so the Attorney General, uh, Merrick Garland, far left, critical race theorist, leftist lunatic, basically. Joe Biden's pick for the top law enforcement agent in the country. This man is now sending the FBI after parents who show up at school board meetings to oppose critical race theory or mask mandates or, you know, vaccine mandates or whatever. Anything that the government wants to push, if parents want to speak out against it, they are now being labeled terrorists by the Democrat Party. All right, so if, if you haven't seen that, here it is. The Associated Press put out this fact check against uh, Chris Rufo. Chris Rufo is one of the nation's top commentators on critical race theory issues, especially in public schools. And so he's been exposing all of this stuff and, and, and putting a lot of commentary out on it. And the AP puts out this fact check. It says, contrary to false claims circulating online, the National School Board's Association did not ask President Joe Biden to label protesting parents as a domestic terrorist. And there's no indication that Joe Biden or the Justice Department called them terrorists either. <laughs> well, that turned out to be completely false, as you can see as we move this over here. As Chris Rufo points out here, your fact check is false. It is easily debunked in the text of the NSBA's letter. All right, so the NSBA clearly wrote here, as these acts of malice, violence, and threats against public school officials have increased, the classification of these heinous actions could be the equivalent to a form of domestic terrorism. All right, the NSBA requests that such review examine appropriate enforceable actions against these crimes that they're labeling them, parents going to meetings and speaking out against critical race theory and mask mandates and whatnot, crimes and acts of violence under the Gun-Free School Zone Act, the Patriot Act in regards to domestic terrorism. All right, so this is where the left is now. The left wants everybody to submit, to submit completely to their will. All right, this is where we are. And you have these people in, in our churches now. All right, so if you think this is going to get any easier, if you think that these people can run around unrepentant and pretend like they're Christians, you're living in a different world. It's time to wake up. It's time to push these people out. It's time to get these people out of our ranks. They are not Christians. They are not believers. The people pushing this stuff are not pushing Christianity. They do not belong in the church. It's only going to get worse, folks. If we don't stand up and, you know, see, here's the problem. For the last several years, these people have been allowed to come into our churches and sit in our pews and, and, basically be welcomed into the fellowship of Christ. They've had absolutely no pushback. And, you know, they want to make this about, you know, okay, Donald Trump was, you know, a sex abuser or, you know, he 
groped women or made mean tweets on Twitter and whatever. But that's not what this is about. These people have an agenda and they just use that as a scapegoat. And, you know, it, this is real easy, folks. You know, Donald Trump, yeah, it was an immoral man. No doubt about it. But the difference between Donald Trump and these leftist lunatics is that Donald Trump was not trying to legislate his personal immorality into national policy. The Democrats are trying to put all of this stuff into national policy, and they're going to make you do it. They do not have the moral high ground in this. They do not have the moral high ground. They want to murder babies. They want to feed your, your children homosexuality and indoctrinate them into the LGBTQ lifestyle. They don't just want them to accept it. They want them, want them to celebrate it. They want to force your children into submitting to transgender ideology and queer theory. That's what they want. They want your children to come to school and be counseled by their transgender specialist that if they want to be somebody of the opposite gender, they can do so and they don't have to tell mom and dad about it and they'll be treated that way at school. You'll never hear anything about it. That's what they want. They, they do not want you to raise your children. They want to raise your children and you know, the people in the church, the Tabidi Anabwiles, the David Platts, the Jamar Tisbys, all these people that are allowing this stuff to go on, not just allowing it, but pushing it. The Russell, the Russell Moores, um, the Dwight McKissicks, the Bart Barbers, all these people who think that this is OK, that it's not a big deal. They're they're attacking your family. They're attacking. They are they are coming after your family. Those people are coming after your family. Those people in the church who think they're pastors, who think they're Christians, who are acting that way, but allowing this stuff to go on, they are coming after your family. And it's time to stand up. It's time to get these people out of the church. Stop pretending like they're brother and sister. They're not. These, pe <laughs> these people are, they are practicing a different religion. They are practicing a different religion altogether. It is not Christianity. All right, so I just wanted to throw that out there. I hope you I hope you're paying attention to what's going on. You better stand up. You better rise up.